yourself on that fake punt earlier today? It was fun. Um, <clears throat> yeah. It was, uh, yeah, it's always fun. It's always fun to do something like that. And then uh, one follow up. Obviously, it's been a long career, but I watched tonight. Kyle, how, how do you like analyze how far you've come not only as a player, but as a person? Um, not sure that's a good question. Uh, I think I'll be able to look back um, in a few days or a few weeks or whatever and kind of see how far I've come in the last year. Right now, it's a little, uh, a little fresh, but. I don't really try to focus on that too much. You know, I, I take note of it, but I try to stay focused on what's ahead and, and how to get better. Jackson, when do you uh, make a decision on whether you want to come back this next season? When do you when do you plan to make a decision oh, if you're going to come back this next season? I'm not sure. Uh, it, you know, whenever I get the relevant information and uh, kind of feel like I'm in a good spot and I'm confident in my decision, whichever whichever way I choose, I don't have a hard deadline or a hard date in mind. It's not going to be a super drawn out process, though. You've been asked all season. Um, your thoughts on playing for your dad as the defensive coordinator now that you've had a chance to wrap up a season. Um, are there any impressions that you have of how special it was um, to be able to play for him and um, tighten that family bond? Yeah, it was awesome. You know, obviously, <clears throat> I'd like to get some more wins, like to play a little better on defense. Um, but it was, uh, it was very neat. I think I learned a ton from him, and uh, yeah, it was it was a it was a special year for sure. <clears throat> Good, Steve. Thank you, Jackson. Obviously, somebody who knows football, what will it take, whether you're here or not, next season to turn a four and eight into something like eight and four or better? I think it's going to take uh, everyone to be marginally better. I don't think it's going to, I think that there's a lot of young talent on this team. And I think it's, I think this team is set up for success in the future if, if they keep growing. I mean, I don't know how many games this year were one score games or games where we had the ball last down one touchdown or, or less. I mean, there, I don't know how many it is, but there's several. And I think that. And I'm not saying it's the offense's fault for you know not finishing those games, but if you go throughout the game, if we get a couple more stops on defense, it doesn't have to be, you know, they that we make them, you know, we hold them to 150 less rush. Like it's nothing crazy. If we get two more stops or two touchdowns, we turn into two field goals, and our offense gets another touchdown or two and one more drive, then it's a completely different season. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be just marginal improvements over where we are now that, that, that'll um, really change the change how the, how the year looks. Yeah, along the same line, how would you characterize Cal's season? Um, I think D. Scott said it was challenging. Uh, obviously. I mean, if anybody comes up here and says that they're satisfied with the record, they're lying. Nobody's satisfied with that record. Uh, <clears throat> but I think that there's uh, some young talent on the team, and it's been shown. And you know that part's exciting if there's a silver lining to it. But nobody's nobody's satisfied with how the year went. And uh, we'll go into the off season. You know, everyone will go into the offseason and, and have that in mind. Like that, it wasn't good enough.